they're not going to open their mouth and say, I was wrong, I'm sorry. I think they'll just give you extra meat. channel guys if you have not subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution so guys we have a guest with us today uh can you please introduce yourself hi <laughs> so i'm a cousin cooper also subscribe to my channel <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> boom, boom. So guys, today we're gonna be doing a video about growing up with black parents. Now, if you are black, you know that some of these things are going to sizzle your spirits. Okay, that PTSD is going to <laughs> kick in because I feel like a lot of black parents do the same thing. So, I don't know if this happened to you, okay. right? But whenever I woke up in the morning, and I would hear gospel music. I know that that day I'm going to be spring cleaning. I'm going to freaking take a toothbrush and clean <laughs> the, the roof. I'm going to, like, I'm cleaning that day. Everything is being moved. Forget about anything. Does that ever happen to you? Rebecca Malope. Facts. <laughs> when Kirk Franklin came on, you know it's going to be hot, guys. It's going to be hot. Honestly, <laughs> when it was time to clean even, there's no hill song. Mm -hmm. There's no... It's those... You know those ones? Oh, you know those like... <laughs> those two more, more, more. Dude. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm just like... Oh, whoa. <laughs> no, dude, it was Where's that. Oh. It was that stop that you had gospel music. You know those. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And I'm like, but it used to slap, though. Dude, <laughs> it used to go. Whoa, it slaps. You know, you would find yourself. You'd be annoyed, but you'd also be like, Whoa. <laughs> yeah. wow. Yeah, all black parents did that, I think. Yeah. But why? I mean, I'm gonna do it too. But why? Bruh. You're gonna do it just for the culture, right? No, like, dude, imagine, right, growing up and going on Instagram and you can't relate to the memes. Imagine, I, as a, <laughs> if I want to be a good mother, I need to do the things to make sure that my kid can also relate to memes. Like, true. You know what true. I mean? Yeah. No, 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 no. Boys. What are boys? What is a boy? What I think, I think you buy it at Pick and Pay. At, oh, uh, no, I don't, I've never seen one at Pick and Pay, actually. You know, I even tried to go to Walmart to see if I can find them there. They're not there. They're not there. Not even in America. No, no not even in America. Hectic, guys. No, so like what I don't is know. A boy? In a in an African household, what is a boy, guys? And then you turn a certain age. Where's your husband? When are you getting married? You know you're not getting any younger. And it's like, I'm sorry, but you never let me leave the house or talk to it's like where where is husband gonna come from? That's the question. Get it from Amazon, like you order a man a husband oh you can't even get a boyfriend you have to go straight to a husband it's honestly like... honestly but like a good <laughs> question is what, what what do you actually think about that do you think um in the perfect scenario or in your head how should it go should you be able to introduce a boyfriend or fiance or you know what i mean because you know white people man white people be living their best lives i'm telling you like some some white families even bring their girlfriends and boyfriends along to family vacations yeah. guys like yeah. wow i'm talking about sleepovers and everything <laughs> wait okay. actually no these days i see black kids going on vacations and you guys post the pictures where did you find your parents <laughs> oh, i think they happening? probably don't tell their parents honestly but the parents don't have social media Probably not. You block oh, your parents. Oh, okay. Depends on your parents. If they're old enough and you block them or they don't know, then you. Oh, okay. You, thing is, here's the here, here's how you check. They can post on Instagram, but are they posting it on WhatsApp though? On WhatsApp <laughs> stories. There we go. Because yeah, that's where you have all those families. True. But how do you think it should go? Actually, I think you should be able to introduce someone. But you can't be introducing someone new every month. That's right. also an issue. Like maybe when you're serious and you're like, mm, this is my husband, you know, and then 
daddy this is the person i want to marry the tricky thing with that is broad things happen like you'll be dating for five years and then you'll find out that mantla has actually two kids and a wife and you're like ah. <laughs> and your parents are like where's mantla you know he cheated me and you're like ah. <laughs> like things happen i actually i don't know but also is it okay to introduce um a fiance isn't that a bit dramatic because my mm-hmm. thing is if you introduce a fiance i feel like as as a mom don't you feel robbed i don't know yeah how do you just bring someone and say oh we're getting married yeah. how does how is that supposed to go guys comment down below if your parents have told you how. the procedure the steps that need to be taken because i'm also yeah. a bit confused which is weird because my sister got married but I'm so confused. Like, how do the steps... <laughs> what do you do? Exactly. Comment down below because honestly, I don't know. And also, if you know where to buy a boy, please also... <laughs> comment down below so you we know. You don't know the boyfriend. Cause... <laughs> or the link. Please drop the link below. Okay, now, something that I want to ask you is... Do your parents ever apologize? Uh, really? <laughs> if it's... it's... I don't know if it's like you can see that it's bad maybe 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 but usually no no <laughs> i feel like black parents you know they don't they, they're not gonna open their mouth and say i was wrong i'm sorry i think they'll just give you extra meat when they dish up or they'll be like did you see what jack mabasa did on generations <laughs> you know after, after everything they happened, really nice to you dude. and you're like you're right <laughs> Exactly, but I bring on the extra meat. I'm okay. It's it's better than a. Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, like <laughs> not even. I don't even want meat. Listen, me, I want money. Whoa, whoa, I can buy meat. Meat can wait. Like <laughs> no, actually they do. You'll be going out to the movies with your friends, and all you need is like fifty rand, and they'll be like, oh yes, one fifty. You know, buy. Oh food. yeah, and you know that's an apology, <laughs> basically. And do you think that things are starting to change with that? Do you think that parents are now starting, black parents in particular, I don't know how if white people do it, I don't know. But do you think that that it's starting to change or you don't know? Have you noticed something? I think they're all starting to change. Black people aren't as toxic with their kids as they used to be. I think before it was very toxic, but mm. it's just... We're getting better. <laughs> We're True. getting better. True. Yeah. I think another thing, like you, you start to see a change with black parents and black parenting in such a thing that um mental illness some black parents are starting to actually recognize mental illness and 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 acknowledge that maybe you need therapy or you need like you know what i mean they won't just be like they won't try to beat the depression out of you or shout at you or think that you've just you know some of them are actually saying hey do you need help or do you want to talk about it like emotional availability i think is starting to increase as well or oh, you don't think so? No, because when you go on Twitter, you see a lot of people like complaining about how their parents react to them having depression. And it's, I don't think it's really changing that much. Mm. I think we, as a younger generation, understand it better. But the older people, no, not as much. Not, not too yeah. much. I think it also depends on what the parents are exposed to. I think more parents who are exposed to more modern, how do I say, things or people. I don't know how to say it are the ones who are able to sort of tune their minds a bit more because also if the if the parents are not exposed to this you know what i mean like if they don't pay attention they're not exposed to it then yeah it's not it's not real <laughs> so eating at people's houses is that a thing <laughs> no no you do not eat at people's houses ever my mom used to tell me that my okay i don't know how to put it in english um let me try that my legs will be skinny, will get skinny. If you eat at someone's house. <laughs> I don't know why that terrified me as a wow. kid. Because now I'm trying to get my thighs to actually become a little smaller. You're like, so okay, I'm about to go to my friend's house and eat. <laughs> and have you seen that the food at your friend's house is always gourmet? It's huh. like, huh. It, it has, what's this? Um, garnishing, it's proper, it looks... And then the food at your house is a sandwich. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Dude, like... And then they have like a seven course meal on a Monday. With drinks and everything. And you're just there. And you know what? You know what's the worst part? When your friend's mom asks you, Do you want to eat? Are you hungry? You're like, no. You know you hungry. Like, you know. <laughs> you know you want that food, guys. No. You know that was a 
actually the most painful part of growing up. <laughs> you know when, dude, your friend is enjoying. You know you're hungry. The smile is hitting you. Your stomach is crying like, and they're like, "Do you know I ate?" <laughs> Are you and sure? It, no? And it seems so rude when you say no to their food. It's hey. like, but they also tell their kids not to eat at your house. So I was, like, that's actually a good point. Yeah. <laughs> African parents from all over are so offended if you don't yeah. eat their food, but they tell their kids not to eat at other people's <laughs> yeah. houses. How does that that's work? No no. If it's someone she knows, yeah, then it's fine. I think that's the problem. If it's people that um that they that that they don't know. And another thing that goes with that is people's clothes. Yeah, yeah. You do not no. share your clothes never, with anyone. Ever, 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 ever. And if your friend borrows your shirt and you couldn't say no out of respect or out of being not being rude, you don't take it back. Do you know how many beautiful items of clothing I lost over the years because <laughs> I couldn't take it back? <laughs> <laughs> Top from grade seven, guys. Wow, sis, my crop. R.I.P. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I feel you. You know, sometimes like your 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 friends, they have that item, that one item that you need that yeah. matches perfectly. Or you know what? You, like sometimes you just go, you'll sh- you'll share the clothes, and then when it's time to go home, you change back into <laughs> you, and they mustn't see the pictures. Nothing, <laughs> guys. It's stressful. It is. It's stressful. You know what also pains, man? Like, if they let you out the house, guys, you know how things are. The event really, really actually starts at 7. Yeah. You, They say by 6, you must be home. <laughs> that was the worst thing in high school or growing up. Like, I would go out with my friends. Nothing is going on. When the things start to get alive, I'm like, guys, I have to, I have to go. I have to go. I, I have to go. You know, the stories are so lit from later, always. <laughs> yeah. During the day, it's quiet. <gasps> as soon, the second you go home, Beyonce showed up. To hey. Me. Trust. Hey. <laughs> Trust. It's that bad. It's just like, okay. And when you go out, she actually have to give like a three day notice. Mm-hmm. You you prep them. You're like, so on Thursday, I'm going to this place. And they're like, I'll oh, think about it. The next day, you like sprinkle it in the conversation. Yep. Like you strategize. You have a whole drawing board, vision board. And you're like, mm-hmm. okay, so this is how I'm going to tackle it. <laughs> and you have to analyze the mood. Hey, babes. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Ooh. Is she happy? Is she singing? Is she... If she's just serious, then... Don't ask. (laughs) And this has to be three working days. Business days. Okay? Weekends don't count, babes. (laughs) And even with the thing of going out, listen, you either have a ride there or a ride back. You don't get two rides. You must make a plan for one of them. (laughs) Guys, here's the thing, though. I don't know if this is with all parents, right? It probably is. I don't know. But last borns, the last two or the last one, it doesn't get hit at all. Did they hit you? Point proven. <laughs> Guys, like, whoo, the first one, two, or three, it, it depends on how many kids there are. But the first bunch, <laughs> they get beat. And when they beat you, okay, they hit you with anything like a shoe. A slipper, a, a, a flowies or a mop. No, a actually, trip? I've been hit once. By um, one. By a once. newspaper. Yes. Did they, or did they throw it? No, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, has your mom ever locked you in a room with your sibling to beat you? <laughs> Ooh, or turned up the volume so that the neighbors don't hear and complain? There's this one time we broke a thing in, and me and my brother and my mom, she called us to the room, she locked the door, bro, I knew. <laughs> I knew, you know, <laughs> you know, it must run around the room. <laughs> and when she hits, it's like, why didn't you do what I, I'm like. And then they want an answer. When you answer, are you answering back? Are you, are you, you know, and even, and this is what Trevor Noah says. Like when you cry, you must balance it. You know, you must, you must, you mustn't be too loud because it's like, why are you crying? I must like, give you a reason. But then you mustn't be quiet because then they'll be like, oh, so you're I'm not crying. You know. Oh, must be just, you know. Those are some of the points or some of the struggles of growing up black. If you have any more growing up black um, instances or examples, comment down below. Let me tell you, growing up black is an extreme sport, okay? It, it's not for anyone. Why do you think, if, if it was for everyone, everyone would be black, but it's not everyone is black because why it's an extreme yep. sport only the strong <laughs> <laughs> anyway
anyway that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and guys we also have a video that we did for makati's channel so please check it out and subscribe to her channel guys she has everything that you're looking for literally and she's a travel queen peace and love guys